Hey everyone, this is Rasko and welcome to part 14 of the LP of Dynasty Warriors Gundam 3. In the last part, we finally went into space and are still kicking ass and trying to gain some territory. In this part, we'll be doing the same, but this time we're going to be start playing as some new characters. Yes, we're finally changing it up from Setsuna. Uh, as long as I can remember what I'm doing here. Alright. So, what do I mean? Well, after now that we're literally fighting for peace, I don't know... Um, I don't know. Everyone gets a shot at this spotlight right now. Uh, frontal. All right, so Captain Full Frontal. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, Char's clone. I don't know. Is it is it a someone who's uh, been persuaded to believe that they are Char, or is he a clone? Because clones do exist in the Gundam universe. Yes. Peru 2 is a clone of the original Peru, and so, are, and so is Merida Cruz. Spoiler warning, she's a clone of Peru. Grown up, which surprised the fuck out of me in episode 3. She kind of looked like her, and she had, in Japanese, when I saw the episode the first time, she had the same voice as Peru. I thought, well, maybe she's just using it because they're using her because, you know, some people um, just have that ability when they change the tone of their voice to sound younger or older quite easily. I could do it, but I suck at it. I don't have the training. So we sent them the data right now, and obviously they don't fucking believe it. It contradicts what Dave found out. Jeez, I wonder maybe why. Maybe someone's manipulating you to think that this data's wrong, and manipulating us to think that the data's wrong. So we have to go and fight. Uh, yeah, we kind of screwed. We're boned. <laughs> Uh, sorry, I was just looking down at a book right here. Really, this is all they're saying is, Oh my god, we can't believe they didn't believe us. Well, no shit, they're the villains for one. Second, your data doesn't match theirs, so who's going to believe you? And third, well, they just feel like having a war. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know the reasoning, really, but obviously, chapter four, more chapters unlocked for peace. Oh, hello there. Uh, now... Uh, do I have it? Do I have it? Do I have it? No, I gotta develop it, I think. Alrighty, I forgot to edit that out. So, yes, uh, the reason I'm going to the Burning Gundam is because... Hello, past me. There we go. Uh, I forgot to actually... Because this fight is only for Domon and the Gog Gundam. Uh, the problem with this is... This is where it starts when I say we are start playing as uh, some new characters uh this is what i meant certain aspects of the game will now switch you to another character uh these characters will vary obviously you have uh, domon banajer and amuro and um loran yeah i kind of want a new partner so uh do we ever see the v2 i doubt it so yeah it's funny that we don't have see Rain here as an operator. Oh yeah, another cutscene. One of the very few. I like how Domo's just spamming that when his mobile suit's meant for close combat. Yeah, all the G Gundam mobile suits are meant for close range combat. They're meant for hand-to-hand -hand fighting. This is all this they're designed for. And oh dear god, he's firing his laser. Oh why? <laughs> I use a data oh, reference there. I doubt it. Now, here I'm calling Sorry. shenanigans and Long bullshit. Up. We're about to see Heal and um, fire. Judo fire the Mega Particle Cannon and the Twin Buster Rifle. I don't give a shit if this thing has an eye field. Bullshit. I'm calling bullshit and shenanigans right now. Because. That should have been destroyed. I don't care what it says. That should have been gone. Uh, yeah, the um, uh, the big zam should have been destroyed. I don't care with the eye field. Those are cannons strong enough to destroy entire colonies. 
Yeah, that was the turn X using its Moonlight Butterfly to disable all machinery. Lauren has the same effect. It's just that uh, Gingerham, I guess he used it on his own men for some goddamn reason. Which is obviously stupid. Because you want your own men to survive. Okay, so Domon, like I said, is a close range combatant. His Vulcans or his shot ability is shit. So, only uh, use close range combat. Yeah, and his. Um, why am I not picking up the the upgrade to 1.5 times more attack power? So yeah, that uh, that Y attack when he's in the air, I don't find any use for it. Ooh yeah, I took out a good amount of life with that. Yeah, and in, in this scene right here, as you guys can see, even though the cutscene just showed earlier that the Mega Particle Cannon was destroyed, it's back in full function for some reason. Yeah, I really, really found that weird. Um, so, I don't know, someone explained that to me? Because if this is supposed to be the same Big Xana as earlier, that's bullshit. And now I finally pick it up. Ow. That was stupid of me. Yeah, Judo just died. Uh, this isn't a Gundam fight, uh, Domon. Wow, L and and Judo. There we go. Got the high, the sparkle cannon. Um, okay. And I think Hero just fell too. Yeah, I hate that stomping attack. And it's really... I'm out of things to talk about, ladies and gents. So, back to the gameplay. <laughs> um, I really... This, I hated the first time playing. The reason is I didn't like this the first time is that... It completely came out of nowhere. Ah, that would have killed the big Zam too. Um, it came almost out of nowhere, in my opinion, and, um, it just suddenly came, and, you know, you're like, come on, thank you, god damn it. Yeah, Domon, um, doesn't dash. He runs everywhere. And I think that's a cool thing they did, to show that the G Gundams are not, the, gu the mobile suits from G Gundam are not technically mobile suits, but mobile fighters. Yeah, um, Spinning Typhoon, the attack I'm constantly using here, is really, really powerful because what it does is that if there's enough enemies towards you, it draws them in, and um, it does a lot of shit to it. It could, at a higher level power, it does a good amount of damage, and if you can surround yourself with a bunch of enemies at the same time, you're going to do massive damage to them. Yeah, that's his guard break. That's his second attack. That's his second charge. Uh, do I try? Yes. <laughs> yeah, you didn't destroy the unit's head, Domo. You destroyed the entire unit. Oh shit! Not good. Not good. I did the dumb thing right here. Yeah, he fires off the um. The Seiko Hoken, I believe it's called? I don't remember. It's been so long since G2. Yeah, I don't like, um... Oh! Hello, Bicha. What the hell are you? Whatever. Uh, no, I don't want you dead. I want as many partners and as much power to our, um, field command as possible. Yeah, they do return to the battlefield if they're destroyed. If there's a um, place in it for uh, the command, the command bar. But if the command your uh, your bar is dead, they won't be able to come back. And so you're pretty much left alone to face whatever army you have there. Ooh, okay. Oh God damn it. This is what happens with a level one character. The first time I played, I said, screw this. 
I said, screw this. I'm not cross. I'm not screwing around with this. There we go. Finally. So what I did is I went back on previous levels, on the easier levels, and mid levels, the second star difficulty, to um, doing a great job. um to increase the level of my uh, my out of these characters. So yeah, I grinded. I grinded in a Dynasty Warriors game. You're not supposed to grind. Um, now I did see that Domo doesn't dash like the other mobile suits. Uh, he runs everywhere, as you guys can see. Oh, that was beautiful. But I should have used the um, spinning one, uh, the, the air dash. When you jump in the air with Domo, he will dash around. So you can keep him in the air long enough, he will dash. The problem with uh, Domo, though, he's not meant to be uh, an air unit. So you have a lot of disadvantages doing the... Uh, the combo attacks with the um, when you after you dashed or Good done an, uh, a combo attack. Way to go! Now that's what I call a Gundam. <laughs> yeah, we're pretty cool. Oh, there we go! Finally, our boss for this level, Gingerham. Ah, <sighs> the Turnex. I fucking hate the Turnex because Gingerham can do this. Come on. What a team. Let's do this. Yeah, the King of Hearts symbol appears on him. I really did like that. Gingham can do this, unlike us. Now, uh, you lost him. I lost him for just that second. And come on, don't let him do it. Uh, what can happen with the turn X is that... Um, yeah, there it is, actually. It just happened. Um, he splits his body up and this is annoying because those bit bodies have their own health if there's enough damage uh, he has to reassemble automatically so enough damage to him um, and you're going to end up kill yeah I got the final blow too I was hoping for that uh, by the looks of it uh, if I didn't yeah. Anyways, if I wouldn't have, um, Beecho would have gone in. I didn't want that because I want Doman to have a nice boost, even though I'm going to be deleting this file afterwards. So, yeah, we're going to start playing with some new characters, getting some new interesting moments of story, which is odd because this should have been from the get go. And, yeah, we're going to see a lot more new Gundams and change a bit of the character area. Yeah, I never use, uh, Uso, that was surprising. Ooh, okay. Uh, two low, two ray, slot fours right away. Nice. And this part's going to end. So join me next time as we continue to fight for peace. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. Thank you.